Hello guys! This is Sar, and today we're playing A Slower Speed of Light Volume This is a game made by, <laughs> by scientists actually and it's uh, by uh, MIT Game Lab or something they're called um, I found it on uh, on the f like the fan page for Mythbusters. They posted it. The game supposedly is made to um, to show you or to explain sort of the theory of relativity, <laughs> which is a kind of a strange concept for a game. I don't really know if it's like a game or a simulator or a, just like some fancy scientific project. Um, I don't think it's finished yet, but it's free to download. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, I have no idea what to do here. Supposedly it explains like the Doppler effect and kind of things like that. Also, I, I read a list of things it's supposed to explain. None of which are anything but words to me. I mean, uh, I watch the Big Bang Theory and those kind of shows, so I've heard the words. I know like the area of which they center but I really don't know anything about theoretical physics or whatever it's called so let's just get into this shall we I'm, I'm really curious about this I have to have to say once upon a time in a quiet village there was a little child it says okay it said that for a long time sadly the little child fell into Death's icy grip far too soon. The little child spirit began the journey to become become one with the light. But the speed of light was too fast for the small and clumsy little spirit. Luckily, the spirit world is full of magical orbs that slow down light. Collect orbs to slow down light to walking speed so you can finally move on. Okay. See how many orbs you have collected, and compare your own speed to the speed of light. As light gets slower, you will start to see beyond what humans can typically see. There's the movement control, WSD, mouse and escape for options. Um... <laughs> okay. Well, there's an orb. I have one orb. I forgot to remember. <laughs> I don't recall what was that thing over there. No. Nah. The thing in the bottom right corner there. Not really sure what it is. Oh. It's kind of strange controls here. I need a hundred of these orbs. Is the colors changing here? So I like the more of these orbs I get. Oh, okay, no. I'm, I'm sliding around something crazy. It's not like uh, an FPS. <laughs> I mean, it looks okay visually. What's going on with this? Oh, it's like in the in the visible light sensing area thing down there in the middle, bottom middle. The more speed I have, apparently, it increases. Ooh, ooh! I have to keep gathering them, which is kind of hard. Oh, what are those things? Are they evil? Not really sure what. For trying to dodge them. I have. Hello? Hello? They can push me. They don't hurt me. I can use them to. I can push up. Oh, they can go in here. And I can't. It seems though, now that I have 35 orbs, I can increase my speeds more easily. 
and when I do, all the colors changes. I, I got a little, not really sure what that's supposed to visualize. Ooh, looks cool, but <laughs> if there is any theoretical physicists amongst my audience, <laughs> feel free to explain what this is symbolizing. Okay, so now everything is red when I have about 50 orbs. Ooh. There's one. If I slow down... Okay. Right, so the bar in the middle there, normally when I stand still, I'm within what is called visible light. That's the light we can usually see. And as I start moving, I see both ultraviolet and infrared light. The faster I go, the more ultraviolet and infrared light I see. Which makes this whole thing look kind of psychedelic. <laughs> or like a shooter with night vision. Strange night vision. More like uh, uh, Predator the movies. Ah! I have too much speed. Okay, I'm just going to. Ooh, look at the color of them now. Let's get all of them. Ooh! I wonder what the effect that was. Oh, I can see all the infrared light now. And. Not all the ultraviolet light. Whoa, 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 crazy. This would be a cool game for hippies, I think. Hippies and scientists. This is like their first common ground. <laughs> the controls are. It's very hard to steer this thing here. As I'm. Well, like, I'm slowing down this. Whoa. Okay, I hope there's an explanation after this that tells me why I'm doing this and why all the colors are messing around. Missing, fi missing 15 orbs. Jeez, this is crazy. <sighs> I'm seasick. Oh, come on, stop, stop. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. And it doesn't slow down on its own anymore. I have too much speed. The ultraviolet is kind of an annoying color. I'm glad we don't see ultraviolet shades in reality. Or infrared for that matter. Okay. Uh, stop! Oh, Jesus! Missing four. I can see two over there. Barely. It's like uh, it's like I'm skating. <clears throat> oh, where's the last one? <laughs> There's always the last one. Is it hidden behind something? And I can't see for shit when I'm <laughs> I'm sliding around like this. I have to stop. Look around. I'm sure there's a song that starts like that. Nope. Probably between these houses. Oh, there it is. Whoa! I collected all orbs in six minutes. Now what? Now what do I do? Whoa! Is that it? <laughs> oh. Do I have like... Ooh, crazy. <laughs> this looks really weird. Because I slow down the speed of light? Is that... Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Hmm. There was nothing in there. Let's explore. 
You would think there was another level or something? Holy. Um. <laughs> oh, this is... Uh, who needs drugs? Hey, I'm stuck. Ah, oh, I'm... I will never... I will really appreciate my lack of... Lack of vision abilities after this. I'm stuck though! Okay, let's... Uh, I'm going to... Oh, what's going on now? Maybe I was supposed to press escape. Oh, that was the end? What happened? Yes, let me... Tell me what happened. Make everything as simple as possible, but not simpler, Albert Einstein. Uh, in a slower speed of light, the speed of light slows down with every orb you pick up. It's impossible for you to reach the speed of light, but certain relativistic... Oh, I pronounced that right. Uh, effects become more visible at you as you get very close. Relativistic Doppler effect. Light behaves like a wave and different wavelengths appear as different colors. As you and other objects move around the wavelength of light changes, appearing redder or bluer to your eyes. Some light becomes infrared or ultraviolet which your eyes cannot usually see, and other invisible sources of light will become visible. There's some examples of that. Hmm. We're learning things today. Searchlight effect. Moving left, the objects on the left are brighter than, what they are, than the objects on the right. Light also behaves like a stream of particles called photons. When you run towards a stream of photons, more photons hit you and the object becomes brighter. This effect is also known as relativistic aberration. Special relativity. Oh, this, yeah, this part here at the end. Light always moves at the same speed, so if the speed of light is constant, then the distances and times in the world around you have to warp. Your time is different from the time in the world, time dilation. And your distances are different than the distances in the world. There's a Lorentz transformation. Oh my god, I'm getting so much smarter. Uh, you have to be much closer to the speed of light to notice the more dramatic effects of Lorentz transformation compared to the Doppler and searchlight effects. At the end of the game, the Doppler and searchlight effects are removed to make the Lorentz transformation easier for you to see. Normally, light is extremely fast, but it still takes time for photons to reach our eyes. When you look at anything, you are actually observing incoming light from some time in the past. The farther you look into space, the farther you look into history. This is e easily noticeable when you look at objects moving relative to yourself. Objects normally beyond your field of view can become visible when you move near the speed of light as you see them as they were in the past. Okay. Well, that was it then. <laughs> so I guess this game was really... What should we say? It was really just to... It's not really a game so much as a... As something to teach people about all these strange phenomenons and how it works. And, well, it's strange enough to get on my channel, I guess. I'm going to play around with this now that I know what those things are to symbolize. Uh, I'll put a download link for you guys in the in the description if you want to check it out. I mean, it's 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 ten minutes of fun and uh, a learning experience. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll be back with an actual game next time. See you guys. Bye bye.